The folklore of vampires drinking blood to survive has lasted hundreds of years and today most of us are familiar with Dracula and Twilight as science fiction and fantasy but maybe they were just ahead of their time. Since 2017, a startup called Ambrosia has been charging people $8,000 to receive blood transfusions from the young to reverse aging. And this sounds like an absolutely crazy idea, but when you look beneath the surface, you see that this isn't as insane as you'd initially have thought. Could this science fiction actually become a reality one day? Startup Ambrosia began a clinical trial in 2017 to investigate whether receiving the plasma from the blood of the young would be able to fight aging in older people and possibly slow down age related diseases. It was founded by Jesse Carmesin and he started Ambrosia shortly after finishing his medical degree. He had interned at the National Institute of Aging and in his time there he became interested in seeing how aging can be slowed down or even reversed. The crucial research that suggested that blood contains factors that might possibly reverse aging were the mice studies that looked at heterochronic parabiosis. And one of my lectures earlier this year looked over this topic, so I'll just sum up the research briefly for you so you don't need to join me in collecting student debt to find out. Heterochronic parabiosis is a stitching together of a young mouse to an old mouse, so they share their bloodstream. It does sound crazy, but this research actually showed an improved ability in the regeneration of muscles, kidneys and other organs, as well as improvements in the cognitive ability of the old mice. It appears that there is something in young blood that has this beneficial effect, However, these parabiosis studies in mice are obviously not the same as Ambrosia doing blood transfusions in humans where the results could be easily very different. Unless it ends up for getting a conjoined twin to try out parabiosis. But I should probably mention that the younger mice in the studies had accelerated aging, so uh, that's not ideal. Without publishing the results of the Ambrosia clinical trial, Jesse Comsin claimed that the results looked great and announced the opening of Ambrosia clinics across five cities in the United States in January earlier this year. And the price for this was $8,000 for one litre of young blood. But anyway, if you're anything like me and want more for your pound, you know, save them peas, then you could get two litres for just $12,000 and when I first heard about this, I asked my friends on Instagram if they would give away their blood for a fee. And you know, a lot of them got to pay their bills. All jokes aside though, near the end of February, the FDA came out with a statement warning that these offerings of young blood plasma to tackle aging and a variety of age-related disorders have no proven benefits and could even be harmful. Apart from Marlena, who sent me a DM that she was looking up their locations to see if she could sell her blood, I'm sure the rest of you will be glad to know that immediately after the FDA released the statement, Ambrosia said that they've stopped all treatments. So does this mean it's the end of a road for blood being the answer for overcoming age-related disease? Well, I'm here to bring you the positive stories in biotech and I'm happy to tell you that there are companies investigating this potential in blood with an open and transparent approach. Now, Alkahest is one of these companies and they were founded by Tony Wiskore, a professor of neurology at Stanford University. Inspired by their initial parabiosis study from 2005, his lab have done research where they infuse the plasma of young mice into the veins of old mice. Remarkably, this improved memory and learning in the old mice with more activity between neuronal cells in the brain observed. By the way, plasma is basically blood with no cells, just mainly proteins and metabolites. This means that whatever it is giving this benefit from the blood is definitely not a cell. And this is what Alka Hest is dedicated to finding out. 
they have identified many proteins that increase or decrease in the blood plasma with age. And from these proteins, they are working out which ones are involved in things like tissue repair, stem cell regeneration, inflammation, and neurodegeneration. One of their potential drugs in phase two clinical trials is an inhibitor of the protein eotaxin, which is a chemokine that attracts inflammatory white blood cells to wherever it goes. This pro-inflammatory protein increases with age. Alkahes hopes that by inhibiting eotaxin, this will prevent harmful inflammation in macular degeneration, which is an age-related disease that can cause blindness. Alkahest also has other potential therapies targeting things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. But neurodegenerative diseases are one of the hardest things out there to make drugs for, as I'm sure Biogen would tell you after one look at their stock price. Nonetheless, they have $50 million of backing from the Spanish biopharma company Griffos to help them bring potentially life-changing drugs to the market. It's actually pretty cool how you can go from talking about science fiction and vampires to scientists using young blood to find new ways of developing drugs to tackle age-related diseases. If this company makes a real success out of this, maybe they'll need to run Dracula his check. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe. My name's Spencer and this is Biotech Basics. So we've got milk cocoa powder, red food colouring paste and this is how we make the blood for the thumbnail.